Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Thris. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning Stitchy, welcome back. Happy to have you no matter what. So, I have just kind of a little bit of this and that. Um, I hope this video finds you doing well, whatever time of day it is, morning, noon, night, whatever the case may be. And if you like what you see, that you will subscribe um, and leave a thummy and a comment below, even if it's an emoji, helps your girl out. I'm still trying to get to 10K and that will help me get there. It'll push me out to new viewers. So, okay, I have collected a few things for the past like two months. I haven't really done any like haul videos because I really haven't bought anything. I did just record an ice irons haul, a little one, but a haul all the same. Um, so let me see, I thought that this, okay. So I wanted to show you a few things that I've collected over the past few months. So uh, for starters from the PO box, um, let me get my, let me get myself together here. Um, this is from Antoinette Lacovetti. I don't have any idea what this is. I did not know this was coming, and this is so sweet. Thank you to anybody who, you know, sends me things or wants to send me things and can't. Um, times are tough. Okay, so this is, oh, I've had these tubes before. Oh my goodness, it's O-Fire. There are hooks. There's four O-Fire hooks. What the heck? Okay, all of my O-Fire hooks have come from an Antoinette. I got three hooks from um, Antoinette. How to pronounce your last name just escaped me. I know how. You know I know how. And then now from Antoinette Lacovetti. Um, I hope you can use or give away all these O-Fire hooks. I tried them but realized I prefer... I can't, oh, aluminum hooks, um, sizes four, five, six, and eight, they are pretty, take care, and so that's so sweet, so, oh. okay, so this is a size four, I was hoping it would do a pop, ooh, that is pretty, does it say what kind it is, so this is a red sparkle, and I will tell you, I am a really big fan of, okay, if I'm going to go with a resin hook, I definitely prefer O-Fire over furls. Um, I don't have big hands. They're, they're shorter. And in my opinion, they're constructed better, um, especially the tip. Uh, so O-Fire is a good way to go, and they're affordable. And I love, even though I don't buy them, I love seeing, like, the new colors that they come out with. And so not, this was so incredibly sweet and generous. Okay, this is number five. Ooh. So this is um, very reminiscent of Furl's um, solar flare. So this is an orange swirl. So it's not glitter, it's like a swirl. It's got like a pearlescent in there. That's pretty. And for those of you who want to see it, this is what the tips look like. I am terrible at remembering inline and tapered and like what the difference is. I can't just look at it and know. I have to look at a diagram. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Uh, this is six. Ooh, you purple lovers are going to lose your marbles. So this is also a swirl. This is even darker. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. This is more like what it looks like. That is pretty. They are really, really nice hooks. Ooh. 
and a blue sparkle. Can you see that sparkle? Yeah, it's blue with blue sparkle in it. That's so pretty. Antoinette, thank you so much. This was so incredibly generous of you. Um, so I think some of these will definitely end up in a giveaway soon. I think that is so sweet. Um, I'll pick one or two and give away one or two. I, I love to share the love. So um, if you guys don't know what to comment down below, say thank you, Antoinette, because she's going to be a very generous giver of a uh, contributor to a giveaway. That was very sweet of you. Okay. <coughs> I also got a really lovely letter from Renee, but I'm going to keep that private. So, Renee, thank you so very much. Um, before I get to this box, these are amigurumis made by Kirsten Amstad. I've showed you them before. Um, she, uh, was made, uh, she made some more. We did a trade. Made some more for Patrick, my son. Before I do that, I want to show you some yarn that I got at an LYS a couple months ago. Now... I did a partial video, okay, I did a yarn review of one of the yarns in here. I did a partial video going into the local yarn shop, but was asked to not um, record, which I totally respect. I absolutely respect and understand. I would never record, you know, people, um, just the yarn, but I respect anybody's uh you know, rights in their business. Um, she did say that I could come back at a later date and record if I wanted to. Um, I'm choosing to opt out of that because she wants to have uh, control over the editing of the video. And I don't give anybody control over the editing of my videos. Um, that's why I didn't do the deal with Hobie. Nobody tells me what to say and nobody has control over how my videos are done. So, I won't be doing that video because I know I had talked about it a couple times that I was going to um, be showing you guys the inside of that store, but I'm not going to. Um, but I will still go there. It's a very lovely store. They're very lovely people. The owner was really nice. They were super helpful when helping me pick out something I'll show you in a second. Um, great place. Great place to go. If you are from Michigan and you are in the... Where was this at? Does it say? Oh gosh, I can't remember. Was this, I think, Rochester area? Um, it, it's a really nice, it, so it's called Skeins on Main. And I do believe that they have a, yeah, uh, SkeinsOnMain.com. They do have a website where you can uh, also shop. So like, I'm gonna be going back in November, they're getting a yarn that I've been wanting for a while. And I try to support my local yarn shops over doing a website when I can. And since I know that it's coming, I decided to wait. Um, I've already waited like a year for this yarn, so I'm just gonna wait till they get it, buy it from them, support local small business. So, I did a review on this yarn. If you guys want to know more about it, where did my, I'm forever losing my, guys, words are hard. Magnifier, good grief. Used them my whole life. Um, I did a yarn review and swatch of this yarn. It's beautiful. So I highly suggest going on my channel and looking at that. Uh, this feels very, this feels like Mako cotton to me, and it feels very, very similar to um, Juniper Moon Farm Cumulus. Um, though I think the Cumulus is just, you know, a little bit of a cut above, but very nice yarn all the same. So this is Barocco Bazzolo. It is super fun to say. And let's see. It is color 10831 or blue metal mark. It is a worsted 
weight number four, seven to eight US, four and a half to five millimeter knitting needles, um, five millimeter crochet hook or spur beach. It's 100% cotton made in Italy, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 240 yards or 220 meters. Um, oh my gosh, I have a fiber that's like driving me nuts. Anyway, it's got purples, blues, teals, grays. I mean, it's thrift in a yarn cake. Um, other than rainbow, this is my jammy jam. So I have a few of those. Absolutely love this. I cannot wait to work with it. Um, I did the swatch and like I have, I have one of these sitting over here in front of me teasing and taunting me. I've been biting at the bit to work with it. Okay, and then I saw these and I had, 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 had to have them. I am going to dye up some solid navy and some solid, uh, like, solid gray, maybe a tonal gray, I don't know, to go with them. Yes, I know, I do the same things over and over and over again. Every brand, I just get the same stuff. Like, this is Wells Road and, like, that's a Malabrigo. It's just the same colorway over and over and over again. It's either blue, purple, teal, and gray, or rainbow. But I am starting to add brown, like browns and uh, grays to the mix. So I'm expanding. Um, okay, this is Arcane Fiberworks. This is a new to me company. It's a fingering weight. This color is called Neon Night. So this one and this one are Neon Knights, and it has, like I said, different shades of blues, teals, grays, purples. Um, and Neon Knights, it's a fingering sock weight, 80 merino superwash, 20 nylon, 400 meters or 437 yards, 100 grams, uh, 2.25 millimeter, 3.25 millimeter of knitting needles, or um, two to three and a half millimeter crochet hooks. Okay, and then this one is called Lilac Lullaby. All the same stats as before, and this is just like a darker version of that one. Basically, it has navy, dark gray, dark blue dark purple. I think it has like less of the teal, if any at all, but I thought that they looked beautiful together. And then I'll get a solid to go with it. I don't have any idea what I'm making out of it. No clue, but I needed it. So I got it. Now, Andrew got me a gift and this is what the ladies helped me with because I can't make decisions and decisions had to be made. This is called Morning Cat. This is me in cat form. Andrew said that, not me. He said, Bay, this is you in cat form in the morning because he knows I'm not to be trifled with until I've had my morning coffee. Um, so, <laughs> so you could get his main color. Um, uh, mm, okay, so he comes with the stuffing, the stuff for the hat, the shoes and the coffee mug and the coffee inside of it. Um, and then of course, I think the stuff for the eyes and the, the mustache and stuff, it just didn't come with the yarn for the body. So it was like a partial kit. I think it was like 25 bucks. Um, and then of course the pattern is this big old book. And, um, so the yarn that they do it with is Barocco vintage. And I don't know if you know Barocco Vintage, but there's like a thousand and one bajillion million colors, okay? That's a real number. Um, so I had to sit here and decide what color I was doing. And so naturally it came down to navy, dark purple, dark gray, because I'm boring and that's all I ever do. Um, and so... Yeah, we just, I couldn't decide. And so 
the ladies helped me and we literally did it down to hold it by behind your hands and whichever hand I pick that's the one I get that's literally how we decided which is utterly ridiculous um so Barocco this is color petunia it's 52 acrylic 40 wool 8 nylon if you guys have been around here for a minute you know I love me a wool acrylic blend or a wool cotton blend I don't know why there's something about it they complement each other really well normally um four and a half or seven u.s knitting needles or five millimeter eight u.s wait wait oh it gives oh okay i've never seen this uh, mm. uh it was giving i thought it was going to be crochet hook and knitting needles but it's not they're both i cannot talk they're both knitting needles it's giving two different gauges so, I'm going to say probably a 5 millimeter crochet hook. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 218 yards, 200 meters, made in Peru. So, it's a really dark purple. Now, I did not grow up watching TV, okay? I can count, like, three shows, I think, that I ever got to see growing up. And it was, like, once. Hi, handsome. He was a handsome boy. Um, but I remembered Eek the Cat. I don't know if that was the show. I don't know if Eek the Cat was part of somebody else's show and he was just like a character in it. But I remember Eek the Cat in a tree. That is all I remember. And Eek the Cat was, was a big purple cat. I couldn't tell you. If you know, please let me know below. Was that its own cartoon? Was he a character? Do you remember that show? It was one of the first times that, like, when talking about, um, like, the culture or, like, not the culture. You know, like, the shows and the music and, like, what was popular, the fashion. I can't, is this the culture? There's a word for that, and I'm tired and words are hard. Anyway. Um, when talking about that stuff, you know, Andrew knows it all. I'm so limited in what I know because I didn't get to do that stuff. This was the first one that Andrew didn't know what I was talking about. So, I took a little pride in that, I'm not going to lie. <coughs> okay. The other thing, real quick. Oh, and I have to show you my hook. Like, my hook. Um, so, I did finally get the yarn from Premiere. You know, I was salivating. Ew. Gross. Anyway, I was very desirous of getting this yarn. The Premiere Anti-Pilling Everyday Worst Gradient. Now, I don't know 100% what I'm doing with this. I know that I want to do some sort of rainbow situation, okay? I have all of them. I have the red, the pink, the orange, the yellow, the green, the purple, the blue, and the teal. I don't know what I'm doing. I think it is way too much yardage for a cardigan. So it's gonna have to be a blanket, boo. But I was thinking if I'm gonna make myself miserable <laughs> it's dramatic doing a blanket maybe I should do like a stitch sampler so my question to you is do you guys think a stitch sampler would ruin the gradient effect would it ruin the aesthetic it will help eat up some of that yardage because it's an incredible amount of yardage I've got three six seven eight hanks cakes 360 yards each of a worsted weight so I don't know we're on 3,000 yards I, I can't math today okay um it's a lot of yardage so a blanket would help eat it up or a stitch sampler would help eat up that yardage um whatever I do I want to be able to use all of it I don't want to have leftovers because I want the full gradient so, 
then I was thinking, if I'm going to do a stitch sampler blanket, why not do a crochet along? Because we could do a section a week. It would be a longer crochet along because I, I don't have time to do a really labor intensive uh, crochet along. Um, so it'd be like one a week. I wouldn't be able to do a bunch of videos every week of it. It would give, it's one of those projects, like it wouldn't be your main project. It would be, you do this section, it gives you a whole week to do it and you work on your main projects is kind of where my thought process is at. Um, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. The other part of me thought it would be cool to do beautiful, like, squares. Let's see, I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have eight. So I could do a blanket of eight big squares. But then I have to design the square and I don't know if I'm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just thinking my thoughts out loud. So put your comments below because I would really appreciate your advice on it. Um, okay, so I guess I'll show the last thing before I show the amigurumi and that is my hook and do you see how incredibly bright that is i love the smell of his hooks when they fresh come out of the i love wood guys i love wood so much it is such a passion of mine my grandfather was a wood whittler and wood worksman anyway okay it is this it is actually this bright like that is not the camera fooling with it it's bright it's just been sitting here it's not even been sitting in the sun this is a glow in the dark okay it hasn't even been sitting in the sun it's just been sitting over here and <coughs> um so it is blue green and yellow um glow in the dark pigments mixed together and this is called Thrissa's spook it is still available if you go i will put a direct link to this hook i'm so proud of this and guys it has my name on it shut up that's amazing okay so this one is um mixed spirits thrissa's spook um and it is willow That's the rings. I think that I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, so it's willow wood, um, which only uh, some of the woods are a little bit more expensive. This is only a three dollar like upcharge from just the base woods, and then it has turquoise rings. Beautiful. I absolutely love it so much, and it is just like oh, it's perfect. So. If you want to go support your girl, link below to this hook. There's several different iterations of mixed spirits. I tried so hard to convince him to do glow in the dark and I got him to do it. So go show support if you, if you have the means to do so. Don't if you don't. It's just stuff. It's beautiful stuff, but it's just stuff. I love it. I'm super stoked. This is a four and a half millimeter clover. You can get clover, boy, baits, or wood for the tips. Um, you can also have them made longer. You can have them made shorter. Um, and I have another hook with him. It doesn't have my name on it, but this is called abalone shell. And I am just head over heels in love with it. Anyway, um, okay, yeah, I had to show you guys this. I have been anxiously awaiting to get it. I think it's glorious. It's so pretty. And I think the turquoise rings was perfect for it. <laughs> okay, I'm geeking out. Anyway. Um, and there is a spot to tell him I sent you. Um, I don't make any money off of it. It is just to, to tell him who sent you there and to, you know, show support. 
um, that maybe I can keep helping create hooks and stuff. So I'm not getting the money or anything like that for it. Um, okay, so this is from Kirsten. Now, Kirsten is an amazing gal. She makes items for um, battered women shelters, people at battered women shelters. Uh, for the ladies and the childers um, <clears throat> at an extremely reduced price, like a couple bucks, uh, hat scarves, amigurumi, stuff like that. And um, she does a lot of amazing work. And so um, I asked if you guys, if you didn't see the first video, I don't remember what it's called. It's a ways back where I showed SpongeBob and Patrick and Iron Man and Loki, Hulk, um, a zombie, all different kinds of things. So this is the remaining characters, but you can hire her to make Amagurumi for you. She does amazing work at an amazing price and it is for a great cause. All of that money she puts right back into um, the work that she does and so uh, this is Gary the snail from Spongebob that is so good that's really good I'm telling you like I'm a Gurumi queen over here she's great um oh my gosh this is so good so this is Sandy Cheeks from Spongebob. Look at that tail. Oh my gosh. Kirsten, you did amazing. Wow. I'm really impressed. That's, that's awesome. I'm so jealous of you guys who can do all my grooming, man. I can't do it. Um, this is, <laughs> this is Mrs. Puff. Oh my god, I love her mouth. Spongebob, why? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that so much. You did so good. This is Spongebob's uh, boating instructor, teacher. Now, we have Plankton already. This is Plankton's wife, Karen, the computer. I love that. That is so good. Honestly, I don't know how you do it. Um, we have Mr. Krabs already. This is his daughter. Um, I knew it before I tried to say it. Uh, Pearl. She is a preppy little shark. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Look at the hair and the ponytail. Wow. And look. And then, oh, Kirsten, I forgot I asked you to do this. Oh my God, my daughter's going to lose it. So it is my daughter's birthday tomorrow. And when she saw Patrick's Loki, she lost it. She thought it was the coolest. And I didn't tell her that I was having Kirsten make one. And frankly, I completely forgot actually. Um, so... I had her make my daughter one. This came in perfect timing for her birthday tomorrow. She's going to love it. She won't be on camera. Otherwise, I would show her on camera. And I won't put Patrick on camera. So I give him his gifts privately. But when I tell you guys, he freaks out. He freaks out. There are squeals. There are jumping. There is clapping. There is, oh, yeah. <laughs> He is a happy little man. So, I think that's it. Cool news. I am doing the very, very last bit of a crochet tutorial of an actual item. It is not a stitch. It is an item and I'm so proud of myself um, <clears throat> it might be a rougher tutorial like it might not be like 
I don't know what am I trying to, might not be a polished tutorial because like stitch tutorials are very different than an actual item and all the you know things that go into putting it all together so forgive please it is my first time but I'm really proud of it I think it turned out great I know for a fact people have done way better than me but <clears throat> for similar items but I'm super proud of it and um I will be uploading that very very soon I am almost finished with it and then I will show you I'm not going to show you before because I don't faster people than me um I've seen many times including one thing that I showed of, of my own um but I've seen many times where people will show something they're working on and faster crocheters will create it and then go sell it on as their own pattern and <clears throat> anyway it's a it's a dog eat dog world out there you know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna wait until I actually have it posted and then show you guys but um yeah I'm super proud of myself so anyway um I can tell you if you're going to want to make it get yourself like well I can tell you what yarn I used so I used this Red Heart Super Saver Bitty Stripes. One is enough. Um, this has 515 yards of yarn. So that is enough. 515 yards of a heavier worsted weight yarn is enough to do this. You can do it in acrylic, um, cotton, wool, linen, kind of, you know, really whatever you like. Um, and get a four and a half millimeter hook so I can tell you that much but I'm super stoked I cannot wait to show you guys I'm so proud of it so anyway I will see you guys um I'm not sure when each video is going out chances are this one won't go out in time but in case it does um you guys can order my subscription boxes until midnight of the 11th of October. I got more than a dozen people telling me that they did not get the video. Uh, YouTube didn't give the video to them, so they didn't know that it was released and able to be ordered. Um, I am having trouble, it seems, with my videos going out. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, like I did a, I've already said this in another video, so I'm repeating myself in one of these videos because I'm batch recording today. Um, my yarn reviews normally do very well and this one got like an eighth of the normal views um what this one has made in two days i normally will get in like two hours so i'm i'm not sure why they're not being recommended but um i don't know one thing that can help with that is making sure that you like uh, the videos and leave a comment because that pushes me up in the algorithm it tells YouTube hey I want to see this content and I'd appreciate it because um even a stitch tutorial it takes you know time and everything like that so and uh, so do the yarn reviews because I work up a swatch and I wash it and dry it and um, you know so if you guys wouldn't mind that would be super helpful just making sure you like every video and leave a comment um, seriously, just an emoji is fine, but anyway. Okay, I love you guys so much. I will see y'all later. Stay safe and stay weird, my friends. Toodles!